So throughout this series on smoldering MS, you will have heard us talk about drugs and other therapies. But one thing we haven't touched upon is add-on therapies. What are add-on therapies and do they even exist for MS yet? Dr. Nanan Parvin, add-on therapies. I know some people call them adjunct therapies, but add-on therapies. It is my understanding right now that with MS, there are no add-in therapies to a DMT. There's drugs that treat symptoms, but it's either your DMT or not. Tell us a bit about add-on therapies. Am I correct in that? Uh, yes, uh, I would say that there have been clinical trials looking right. at add-on therapies, and currently there are a couple running right. looking at add-on therapies. But um, generally speaking, with MS, you tend to be on just one therapy, which may change in the future as newer mm. drugs come in, where when we talked about earlier about how you can look at different aspects of MS. So the best way to look at that is to add in different treatments, which look at different parts of the condition. For example, there's B cells in parts of the brain that there shouldn't be. So looking at drugs to try and get them you know, back where they ought to be, should we say? So there are different types of add-on therapy. So the, the uh, um, commonest type is to look at different aspects of the disease. So if we take neurodegeneration or disease progression, um, as you see it, um, you can look at ways of protecting neurons from degenerating mm -hmm. further. So there have been clinical trials adding in treatments uh, like channel blockers calcium channel blockers, sodium channel blockers to improve the longevity of right. the neurons. There have also been um, um, trials to add in treatments to your exits in disease modifying treatments, so another target in the immune cell. Um, so you continue to be on your treatment, but a newer treatment yeah. is added on. So there's different the parts. Million dollar question, though. Are these going to cure MS? I mean, right now, my understanding these DMTs, they're chemical breaks. To a greater or lesser extent, they slow it down. But will these cure it or will they stall it permanently? I like stop it in its tracks, even if they don't make it better? So my answer to you that there is that world wasn't made in a single day. So you I need to cure. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I understand you, yeah. but what you need to do is go at it until you perfect it. And that's where we're at. It's great that we have all the uh, pharma companies working on trying to crack this. And the more you do, the more you're going to get. And that's my opinion on it. So it's not um, jumping up and down going, oh, I want that cure. You need to have a process to get there. So I'm going to put you on the spot here and you can not answer it if you don't want to, but from a scale of one to a hundred, where are we in the stopping MS? Forget curing it for a sec, but in the one to a hundred, are we at halfway to stopping it? Do you think? Um, I think we're more than halfway. Okay. You know, that we, we have such highly active drugs that um, some individuals have, uh, may not even have a second episode or second attack of MS ever in their lives. So, so we are MS on that same scale, that one to a hundred, not stopping, but curing. Yes, so there are individuals um, who what we called clinically isolated syndrome or first attack of MS, they've participated in mm -hmm. a clinical trial and um, haven't experienced a second attack. So, so would you put them as stopped or cured? Well, so this is, the, I think it's the same right, to okay. tell you the truth. I mean, and this is um, not cure, in fact, actually undermines what stop is. Stop is getting rid of something permanently, whereas a cure could be a cure for five years, 10 years. Right. So yeah. in cancer therapeutics, you mm. talk about cure for five, 10 years, yeah. because you think that at some point it may always come back, whereas stopping is a different matter. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I appreciate, I'm putting you on the spot, but you know, I appreciate it because I would have fallen out of my chair if you'd said, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, that's just not going to happen. But look, I really appreciate your time today. So thank you so much. And you guys, if there's anything that you want to know more about or that you want to ask, etc., stick your comments below. You know the game. You know how this works. Hey, guys, if you want some more useful advice on living with MS, subscribe to the Lived Health channel and check out more of their videos.